Oh, <laughs> I'm really good at this. This is why I don't do this. Because I'm bad at it. This is why I don't do this. Take two. Take two. All right, this is Calico. Calico is a one to four player game about sewing real comfy quilts. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes, but when I'm playing it, it takes about an hour and a half because I'm slow. Um, I'm going to be playing the solo variant of it. And it's really like mechanically straightforward. There's some interesting stuff that I'm going to go through on the board. I'm going to go through the stuff that's around here. Um, but essentially the gist of it is that you'll, each turn you'll be using one of your two tiles, and you'll be placing it anywhere into your existing board state. The way you score points is you're trying to make sets of three of the same color. That'll score you some points. And you're also trying to uh, tempt some cats to come and stay on your quilt in different little, little snug places. You're also, not just that, you're also gonna be trying to achieve some little goals that you've got that are randomly set up at the start of the game on your quilt space. So the starter little tiles, which you know you randomize, I think there's six, and of those six you draw four, and of those four you pick three. So this is what uh, this is what I have selected. So we've got this one, and this one wants tiles around it that are either all different colors or all different shapes. However, if they're all different colors and all different shapes, you'd score 15 points. If it's different color or different shape, you'd get 10 points, but you can't mix and match. You're either doing all different colors or you're doing all different shapes or both. You couldn't do a combination of different colors and shapes around there. So I couldn't do like purple, purple, different shapes, and then green, blue, whatever the colors are. You've got to stick to one thing, either shapes or colors or both if you want to score those gold points, the higher points to score. It's more difficult, but you can do it. If you're smart like me, we'll find out. Um, this particular one, like I say, it wants three of a kind, two of a kind, and one of a kind. Uh, and that again is in this little six circle around this. And this particular one's two pairs and two single ones. So each button's worth three points. Different cats are worth different amounts of points in there. Another random setup thing at the start. And so this particular cat, Tibbet, Let's see if I can get a good zoom on these cats, actually. That's good enough. So we've got Tibbet over here. Tibbet wants me to have four tiles in a group of four plus. And that'll get Tibbet to visit, get me five points. And these are the patterns that Tibbet likes. Tibbet's a very particular cat. All the cats are particular. They like certain kinds of patterns. So Tibbet likes stripes and likes these ones with little flowers on. Then we've got Almond, great name, 10 out of 10 on the name. Uh, Almond likes a uh, tiles in this particular formation. You can rotate it, but in this particular three and a two, which you could do at an angle or whatever, you know, where you want to place it in there. But they want these kind of like leafy, uh, like a fern kind of one or like these little dots. That's what they want these tiles in this formation to be. That'll be nine points. And then hiding over to the right, we've got Gwen. Hey, Gwen. And Gwen wants seven tiles in some kind of row collected, you know, some way, connected in some way, either in this really nice kind of wallpaper style or this kind of style here. I can't think of the terminology for it, but these are the patterns that this particular cat wants. So as you can see, that's the six different patterns in the game. These cats have revealed those different patterns and they're the patterns that those cats want the particular, uh, uh, their particular objective to match to gain the cat and get a little Get a cute little cat snugging up on your on your blanket. It's basically the gist of the game. So I start and I have these two these two little um, tiles to start me off. Let's have a little look, see what we want to do. Um, this one's saying all different. All different, but this is quite a nice little start here because I'm uh, here I've got a pattern forming here, a combination of the same color, so I could try and work towards purple, but I'm also working towards having a, a grouping of the same pattern. So a grouping of the same pattern would be really good because the uh, the cat, Tib, Gwen, sorry, our friend Gwen, she wants seven 
of this pattern together, which is going to be really difficult to do unless I really properly try. So that might be good to start there, so I can try and work towards that. And there's some good purples here, so I could get a nice... Or do I? Or do I? Getting three of a kind is more challenging, theoretically. So I could work towards trying to get three of a kind down here. So I'll do the ones that are more difficult to start with, I think. Um, head aiming for the more difficult uh, combinations to do, because obviously um, it's going to take me more work to achieve this particular one. If I want to try and get 11 points, or do I go for all different? Hmm. Maybe do all different colors, all different shapes. Because that could get me 15 points, which is real good, but it's tricky. But I'll do that first. And now I now what I'm going to do, I need to stop changing my cameras so much. Um, I, uh, I get to choose a towel from here. So I'm going to choose... Oh, we've got some stripes here. Who likes stripes? Tibbet likes stripes. Maybe I should start trying to, uh, like, you know... Get Tibbets come visit. Tibbets come visit. So I'm going to take this and get a collection of Tibbet tiles going. The one that's furthest to the right goes away. This one will move to the right. And then two new tiles will come out. My turn. And again, I'm looking at what I've got and I'm thinking what I can work towards. Tibbet, as I said earlier, Tibbet's looking to... Um, Tibbet's looking for stripes. Tibbet's a big fan of stripes. You get four stripes together. Tibbet will come hang out on your blanket. You'll get some points. So let's see. And what have we got coming up? Because it's worthwhile planning ahead. And getting different patterns for different... For this little thing. This might be good. I'm trying to do the gold... The gold thing, but I... I which where it has to match both color and pattern objective of the tile, but that's tricky. I'm just gonna see how I get on. But this is a different color and a different shape, so that could be kind of useful. <clears throat> so maybe I could consider that as a starter. So let's pop that there. Different color, different shape. However, in the back of my mind, oh no, that wouldn't, I mean, I couldn't do that if I was doing that. Ignore me. I was thinking about trying to make what Almond wants, which is this formation of five, but the formation of five has to match the dots or the fern kind of look. So I'll ignore that for now. Hmm, this one's pairs, pairs of things. But again, the pairs don't have to be next to each other. They could be anywhere in that six around there. So don't worry about putting the two yellows next to each other or the two stripes next to each other. You could pair them wherever you want. Huh. But what I want to try and do is I want to try and achieve this one up here. This is the one I'm interested in at the minute. But do not forget, I pray, I pray to you all, do not forget to try and get three of a kind of the same color to get the buttons. Do not forget to try and match the patterns that the cats want as well. Because you need to get some cats on your quilt. If you're going to score those quilty cat points. Um, I need to take a tile from one of these three. Hmm. For now, let's take the green. Sure. That means we discard this one. This one slides along to the right. And we get a couple of extra ones. There aren't, there isn't a Cat Cafe playlist on the thing that I'm using. Um, but I would like a Cat Cafe playlist. That would be quite sque sweet. I don't know what would be on it, though. What would be on the Cat Cafe playlist? I was just about to ask about the patterns. So the six different patterns, like the six different colors... And it's the, the cats, yeah, the cats want certain patterns. That's what they're looking for. And obviously these objective cards, tiles rather, state that you're trying to achieve a certain pattern or colour around them. Um, so let's have a little closer look at my board again to see um, where I might look to place things. How many tiles are there of a certain colour or pattern? Excellent question. Let's find out. Um, the six sets of 18. So there's 18 tiles of each color, which means there's three of each shape in a specific color. Three of each shape in a specific color. I've already discarded two ferns. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Um, 
I obviously have a bit of space up here to play with if I wanted to try and make other groupings. I've got those stripes, I've got these flowers, so I'm in a good spot for Tibbet if I wanted to encourage Tibbet to come visit. Um, maybe then I'll pop this down here to try and get Tibbet to come over here and maybe make a set of three stripes or the same colour and stripe, but bear in mind there's only three purple stripes in the whole game, so doing three of the same colour and same pattern is really actually quite hard. Um, is that good? I think in at the start of the game, you kind of have to just be led by the tiles that come out, so I won't overthink it. Um, let's go ahead, though, and take something that I haven't got yet. Maybe a blue? Sure. Let's take the blue. And let's switch the setup view again. I'm going to leave it probably in this setup because it's a bit... Um, Tibbet come visit. I do like that. Slide that across. Get some extra tiles out. I'm going to leave it like this for the time being because I think you've got a good enough idea of where things are at. I'm trying to hang on to the ones that Gwen likes because Gwen needs the most tiles to get Gwen to, to visit your quilt. So I'm trying to not waste or, or discard the tiles that Gwen is particularly interested in. Because if I want to try and get Gwen to come visit, I'm going to have to make a really long collection of the same type. What I could do here is... Yeah, what am I going to require to get Gwen to come visit? She wants seven tiles of the same pattern. It's a lot of tiles. We've got two here, so remember, you can use the ones on the edges as well as the ones in the quilt that you've added. So that's two. You could do three, four, five, six, seven. I could just run around the edges, but that would require me to put a pair of the same color or type here. But I could do that. I don't see why not. I'm already, I've already got three, so maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do that. It means I couldn't get... I was thinking about getting three yellow together in a group, but I'm actually going to focus on trying to complete... Gwen's challenge, the challenge that Gwen has set out for me, which is to have three of the same, seven, sorry, of, this, of seven of this pattern. So I'm going to try and do that. Won't be easy, but I'm going to commit to it early to hopefully achieve, actualize that goal. I would also really like to get almonds to visit, either with the dots, maybe rather than the ferns, because I've thrown a couple of ferns away already to the discardy. So maybe I should go for dots because there's more of them kicking about. I still want to work on having all different patterns and all different colours around here. So what pattern or colour have I not had? Well, I haven't had a green fern. I have thrown away a lot of ferns, so maybe I should take that for now. And then the stripe goes away. This moves to the right and we get some more tiles out. Um, okay, so I was going to use one of these towards this this uh different different color and different pattern i'm trying to do here so i am going to place this fern here and i'll tell you why i'll tell you why because i know you're all itching to find out there's a fern on the edge and there's a fern here so i am thinking sometimes that that's what happens i was trying to i was trying to work out how i could appease almonds but almonds not actually a big fan of uh, they like ferns, but they like ferns in a certain formation, which wouldn't help me in this case. Huh. But it does it does um, qualify as being at least a different pattern and a different colour. So I'm still working towards getting 15 points there, which is good. So I'll take it. Um, this is a shape I want, though. Because this is another one that Gwen likes. But can I get enough of them? I was using a different shape for Gwen, so maybe I'll just leave it and try not to get too lots of Gwen, because that's 14 tiles. That's a lot of tiles to dedicate to one particular thing. Here, I need three of the same colour and three of the same pattern if I want to get 11 points. So maybe I should try a little bit to do that. Maybe I should give it a vague try. Hmm... I'm going to take this blue one, and I'm going to get let that one go away. This one will move across. Hey, Fairy, fl fairy Fluff. Hey, Fairy Fluff. 
new tiles come out one two that's what we've got um i'm playing this tomorrow can't wait it looks gorgeous is gorgeous is gorgeous lovely 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 looking game beth sobel says you could also go with delicate and moroccan if you prefer as true these are different uh descriptions for the patterns beth sobel's the illustrator of this game everyone so if you're watching the chat and you're like hey beth i love your work uh tell her i guess you don't have to but like that's what i do i'm like beth beth you're my favorite beth be my friend beth um okay what am i doing now you can make the cat happy no matter what it takes. You make the cat happy no matter what it takes. Don't you dare to let that kitty down. Um, I am going to... Uh, Beth's also shy. Um, so uh, be kind to her. <laughs> I'm kind to her, but she doesn't like it when she gets attention drawn to her. Um, I can't help it that you're talented, Beth. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. You're too good at what you do. I like telling people about it. I, just, I don't don't blame me. Don't blame me for that. I just like I just like your work. Um, right, what am I doing? Hmm. I was thinking, again, that happens from time to time. That this is a different pattern and a different color than what I've previously placed here. So that would be a real sweet piece to put there. Working towards my goal of having all different colors all different shapes around this particular one that's nice yeah 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 yeah. there is this one spot here that i could make the use of so let's go ahead and take that polka dot i'm getting rid of another one of these we've given up on this particular oh no am i giving am i getting rid of all of the i need to be careful not to get rid of all of that sh that shape and pattern because i might need it and i keep throwing it away all right here we go Beth, it does entirely blame me for enjoying her artwork. Jess says, had the joy of learning Sunset Over Water from Beth at a convention a few years back. She is a delight. Beth is lovely. Beth is lovely. Um, what was I doing? I was trying to tempt all the cats and I got these dots. So I was thinking about trying to do something to appeal in this regard. This one wants pairs of this, either the same pattern or the same color or both. So I'm kind of working on that a little bit. Tomorrow, so we've just had a little uh, cheer from Mr. Juggles 2000 saying, uh, Till Quartfoil tomorrow, I'll probably forget it. Old age is annoying. Old age is annoying. I don't know if it read it out for you all in the chat. I can't hear it, but maybe you can. Um, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was kind of... I kind of had this space carved out here for this particular Moroccan style shape to tempt Gwen over. And I'm kind of weighing in on that at the minute. So I've got to be careful there. I don't want to block Gwen out, but I've got to hedge my bets to a certain extent. So I have flowers. Flowers are something I have, but I don't have that color or that shape in this section. So I'm going to take that. I will be losing the blue flowers, but that's okay. Let's draw two new tiles and carry on. Draw two new tiles and carry on. We've got some more stripes. That's interesting. Who likes stripes? Tibbet likes stripes. Okay, so I definitely... The reason I took this is because I want to um, put a different pattern and different shape around here. And then I've only got one missing, which is the dots in a color that I haven't placed. Dark blue? Yeah, dots in dark blue is what I require. And then I'll have completed this one. Different colors and different shapes, 15 points. That would be real sweet. So I'm going to place this around somewhere. This is the pattern that Gwen likes, but I've given up on that for the time being. But can I place it in a way? No, not really. That helps anything else. Probably not. Do I place it towards this? Sure. Sure, let's do that. We'll pop it there. Now I've got to take one of these. What am I thinking? Three of a kind. I could, what I could do, is I could try and get three of the same color and pattern over here. So having that purple stripe would be really useful to try and work towards that goal. So I might take that purple stripe and get rid of this tile, move this along, 
So I'm trying to work towards doing this particular objective in two different ways. See what's happening. Super cute, super cute backdrop today. Thank you. Into the Meepleverse and hello. How are you doing? How are you doing, Billy? Um, this is a quilt that my partner knitted. And it's very nice. Uh, I'm going to place this then down here. And this is actually the first time I've done this the whole game. I've got three purple, which means I get a purple button. So I'm going to place a purple button on there. And that's three points at the end of the game. So I've not been doing a great job of doing that because I've been focusing on other things. But that's one of the ways you score points is to make collections of these different colors to get a button of that color um, in on your quilt. Religion says, for the cat patterns, do they need to be one particular pattern or could be a combination? They've got to be one pattern. These are your two choices, but you have to stick to one of those patterns to tempt the cat over. Uh, okay, what else am I going to take then? This, I've given up on that shape, pattern rather, but I've not given up on ferns yet. I was going for polka dots, but maybe I should um, keep my options open a bit. I should really get another purple. I need more stripes. I know that much. But if I get another purple, then at least I've done all the purples. So maybe I should do that. So I'm going to take this purple fern one. Get rid of that one. Move this one along. Get two new ones out. Oh, more ferns. More ferns, please. And flowers. Hmm. Right, 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 right. Left. Uh... You like flowers, you like four flowers together. Do I place this here? So I, here I need, okay, I need to be careful. I need to be careful, everyone. I need to be careful. Um, let's see, In the Meeple Versus says, I'm good, received my calico on Monday. A lot of people seem like they've backed it. Basket says, oh, I guess Beth will know which of her cats you like and which you don't like by watching you play this game. You better make all the cats happy. Matt says, MT Dunstan says, I have to head off. Good luck for the rest of the game, Ross. Thanks, Matt. Thanks for hanging out. Beth Sobel says, none of them are mine. My poor neglected cats. It was backers. Backers. You making a new channel about gardening? I should do. I should do. But you haven't seen my garden. I don't think anyone would be following my gardening advice. Uh, right. Here, I need pears that are the same color. And I want to have pears that are the same color and pears of the same pattern which I haven't done any of yet. I don't want to block off this Moroccan style shape root because I want to actually have that for, for getting Gwen to visit. I need to leave space for it. So I'm, I'm going to pop this up here and get a green button. And remember, if I can get one button of every different color, I get a rainbow button. So now I've got two different colors. I can keep working on that and try and get more. If I can get another flowery pattern here, Tibbet will come visit. Because I'll have four of them in this corner here, so we'll get Tibbet, a first cat to come visit. So that could be good. If I took this yellow tile, I could do that. Ferns, have I given up on ferns? I kind of have. But again, I've got to be careful about how I'm doing things because I don't want to run out of options Maybe Burns Three, two I just don't know It's really tricky I'm going to take this I've gotten rid of so many ferns I shouldn't be working on ferns I should be sticking to polka dots only But I could certainly do one fern In that area still need a dark blue with dots that's what's getting me that's what's getting me in the minute i'm worried about it i've put all of my chips on that i'm gonna take that one got a bunch of ferns now this one's gonna go away this will move over draw two new tiles out oh here we go hey we got that moroccan that moroccan shape again that was what we were interested in i've got some more stripes who likes stripes? Tibbet likes stripes. 
But in the first we've got to place one of these tiles. I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. So let's go ahead and think about what I'm doing. So again, we've got ferns. Almond likes ferns, but in a particular formation, which is quite difficult to, to make. It'd have to be three and a two, which I could do over here. I'm not saying it's out of the question. I'm just saying it's a little tricky. But if I work towards it, then I can actualize that dream. So maybe I should. Let's go ahead and place this purple fern here. Then we've got three purples, which is that AAA. So I can't place any more purple around here. I have to be careful not to do that. I need two of another color and then one of a different color to that. So really what I want to do is I want to try and set this up probably to have two blue and then one of a different color there. Uh, now I'm going to take something different. I've blocked off. I want to not block that off. Oh, but I was working towards the ferns, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. So maybe the stripes should have to go over here. The blue stripe could go up there. Oh, yeah, that would work. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Figured it out. Taking that. This is going away. This moves along. Here we go. Got my brain. Got my brain working. Eventually. Oh, we got some dots. We needed dots, but we need dark blue dots. Let's see what's going on in chat. Um, looks like your partner varied the colors quite a lot in the quilt, which was probably a poor strategy. Yeah, it was for scoring, for sure. My, my partner making this quilt, knitting this quilt, she didn't go for the optimum uh, scoring strategy. Really, she just... Um, it's like she didn't know how the rules for this game worked at all when she made this quilt. Quite disappointed in her. Um, okay, I've got some stripes. And if you recall, guess who likes stripes? Tibbet. So I'm going to place this, in fact, here, I think. Because now what I actually have is I have three purples, but I've also got three stripes. So I'm working towards the 11 points in the gold circle on this particular scoring tile. I'm qualifying for both of those things currently. Whether I can is a different matter. But I've still got three purple, which is good. If I can get two blue and then one of a different color, I would at least get the seven points. But if I can make sure it's pair, uh, three of a kind, two of a kind, and one of a kind of a pattern, then I can score both of those things as long as it appeals, applies rather. This particular one here, if it's dark blue, I'll get 10 points. If it's dark blue in a different pattern to everything else I've ever put down, it'll be 15 points. Over here, again, I need to remember this, that I need a pair of the same color or a pair of the same pattern, two pairs rather, and then two singles. And I've not really done much over here yet, so I just need to be mindful I'm not forgetting about that. But these dots have come out, and these dots are something that I was actually working towards, but I don't want to lose out on this, because this particular... This particular pattern is what I need to tempt Gwen over to my... Tempt Gwen over onto... She needs seven of the same in a row. And we've got one... I want it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. So I could get that, but I need to take all of the ones that are available to be able to tempt her along. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could do that without getting to that bottom corner. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Let's see what's going on. Um, Tom Posh says, light blue ferns and dark blue spots would work. Don't you already have four stripes connected with that edge? One, two, three, four. I do. So that would mean you're, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. So we would have a little cat. That's why I actually placed that because I got away from myself because that's actually three of a color, which is a blue button and a cat to visit. That's exactly why I placed it there because I wanted to get Tibbet to visit and also to gain another button. So that I achieved two things at the same time by placing that tile. So although I forgot there was a specific reason why I placed this tile here and it was to gain not only my first cat to the quilt, but also another button in a different color than I already have because I'm trying to work towards getting one of these rainbow buttons. So it may seem like I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but there was strategy to how I placed that. Um, now I need to remember what my strategy was for the rest of what I'm doing. Basket says, good job, cheetah hipster Ross with the sexy hair. That's, that's what they call me. I mean, that's what you call me. I don't think anyone else, I don't think anyone else says that. Uh, right. So I've got to take another tile. I really want these tiles in this Moroccan style because I'm trying to get seven of them. But that does mean that I would be letting 
this polka dot go and I'm trying to make five in a pattern that Almond likes. You just can't please everyone. This is the problem. This is the problem. You just can't please everyone as much as you'd like to. So what are you going to do about it, Ross? I am going to focus on something. Something's going to happen in my brain. I'm going to focus on trying to get the seven in a row of a particular color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could do it without even going down here. It's getting tricky. And, and when you when you know there's only a certain amount of a certain color and a certain amount of a certain pattern, you start to think like, how many time, more times am I gonna see that pattern? How many more times am I gonna see that color? And that's the pull of this game. So again, mechanically simple, but already the board's closing. And I'm having to try and strategize, which is not, not how my brain, or my, you know, I can, but the green dots would be nice for the A, A, B, B, C, D. It's true. That is very true. I could make a collection of green, but the reason why I don't want to do that, I could put it here, I guess. And that would work for both of my goals. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'll take that. That means this does go away, though. And I wanted that shape, a pattern rather, to try and collect what T Gwen wants, which is this Moroccan shape there. You can't have everything, though. So we'll just have to see what happens. All right. Let's go ahead and put two new tiles out. And the problem is, is I may end up getting colors and shapes that I no longer want later on in the game. At the minute, it's all good because I've got space to put things. But it could get to the point where things just start going south. And I'm not getting what I need. However, for now, let's do that. Because we're still working towards this 3x2 for Almond of the, of, the, of the dots. Which is what I'm trying to achieve. I've also just managed to get 3 green, which is another... Another button, which is great. I currently have two of the same color and two different colors, two of the same pattern and two different patterns. But over these other ones, I could make another pair of colors and another pair of patterns and then just have different ones. Then I could manage to get seven points on that. I'm still waiting for that dark blue dot to go there, which would, which would complete this, which I'm really hoping I'll do, but I won't see all of the tiles. Uh, the solo variant rules, Jess, are very similar to regular rules. The only difference is I take a tile from here and the one on the far right gets discarded and then restocked. That's the only difference. Um, basically, you're discarding from this little conveyor belt of tiles. That's it. Otherwise, it plays the same as regular. Um, it's very similar to uh, the multiplayer rules. So that's, it's a nice thing about it. If you watch this, how you play it solo, you'll now know how to play it in multiplayer as well. I don't want to let that tile go away, so I'm going to have to take it, which means this one will get discarded. This one will move across. And we will get um, two more out of the bag. There is also, in the back of the rulebook, challenges, both multiplayer and solo, which I'm really looking forward to trying at some point. Um, so in the rulebook, there's a whole bunch of different challenges and setups that you can do. There's achievements in the back of the rulebook, so if you get a certain amount of points, if you use certain combinations of things. You, there's like all these different boxes you can check off when you manage to achieve it. Um, so I'm looking forward to like checking that out and, and, and doing that as well. Right, I've got this. And the reason I took this tile is because I want to try and get uh, all of the uh, seven tiles together for Gwen for 11 points, get that cat visiting. And what I'm going to do then in that case is I'm going to place it here. Well, actually... Yeah, I'll place it here. Now I've got two of the same color. But it's a different pattern again. So this particular one needs to be a different color, but one of these three patterns that I've already placed. That's a different color and a pattern I've already placed. So that would work really well. But, oh no, wait a minute. Oh no, I, that means I couldn't achieve... I couldn't achieve the... The Gwen... The Gwen, the Gwen, get Gwen to visit because I can't, no, I can't do that. Can't do that. Abort. Abort. What can I do? Oh, the fern's down here. I could try and do a three by two. So let's think we've got three. That's a pair right there. Because I wanted a dark blue there and that would work. Two of the same pattern. 
three of the same colour, two different colours at the minute, but if I can get a dark blue dot there, that means I'll get 11 points for this. That's what I'm trying, if I can get another... Oh, wait, yeah, I thought that was a fern. Two ferns, that's... Okay, I can't... I can't do the ferns over here. I thought I was being really smart, but I've forgotten exactly what I was doing. If you got a Gwen pattern of a different colour... Yeah, exactly. So I need a different colour to satisfy the Gwen, the Gwen one. I need a different Moroccan tile for there. Doesn't want to be yellow. Could be red. I just need a different, a different kind. Um, right, what do I want from here out of all these ones that are available? I thought I was doing a really good work, working towards the fern, but I, I forgot that I placed this dot here, which I shouldn't do, but I can't. Oh, I needed to keep that space free. That's why I did it that way. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. What do I want from these? I'm not super keen on any of these tiles now. This is when the game starts... The walls start closing in around you and what your options are. I'm not a big fan of any of these tiles, I'll be honest. I will be honest. I'll just lay it out there in the open. I might take this one so I can get a group of the blues. And get three blues. Now get me another button at least. So I might do that. I'll do that. This one goes away. This one moves across. I'm a little bit concerned about my options now. Stripes and stripes and stripes. I'm certainly going to have no difficulty encouraging more... Um, more um, Tibbets to come visit. They're, uh, they're cloned. Yeah, I could put that there. So maybe I will do in the short term. So now I've got two pairs of colours. One different and then one different. So I need this again. Oh no, the reason why I didn't like that. Oh no, it could be like a any other colour but that shape, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we'll do that, that's fine. Um, right. Now what? All these stripes are getting on my nerves. Too many stripes. Stripes aren't super useful for me right now. Stripes aren't super useful for me. Ah, uh, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. When a wizard says hello, flowers top left for another tidbit. Mmm. Yeah. Let's do that. Get more tidbits. Get rid of that one, move that along. Right then, I don't really want stripes. I've been over this, I've said this already earlier. I'm not keen on stripes. I'm actually not keen on any of this stuff going on, but I might just take the light blue. Could try and work towards getting another Tibbet to visit. This one gets thrown away, this one goes here. I need to keep a dark blue tile here Oh, no. This could be going wrong. Right, draw two new tiles to reset. Here we go. So this is the kind of shape that I wanted. But the problem is, is I need pairs. So that's not... That's going to break my the rules of this particular tile. This one says two pairs and then two individual colours. And I've got to play one of these tiles first before I pick a new tile. But I'm also starting to get concerned about what my options are left on the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A space for seven to get Gwen to come and visit with these two ones left. Uh, I'm worried. I'm worried, everyone. I might have to give up on... At some point, I might have to give up on both getting Gwen to visit and also doing both the colour and the pattern combination for this tile. But I'm not giving up yet. I'm still holding out hope. Holding out for a hero. Let's go ahead and just pop a blue tile down here with stripes on it. Because I could get another I could get another blue tile maybe and get the button for that. Let's go ahead and take this particular tile, which I need for one of my objectives. The furthest one on the right goes away. And then I'm going to catch up on what was said in the chat because I kind of just ignored it. Oh, look, that's got some dots on it. It's got dots on it and it's dark blue. That's what I've been waiting for the whole game. Woo-wee. 
All right, let's see what happened in the chat. There was a raid. Everyone spammed some emotes. A lot of ladders. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of fun emotes. Max says, carefully puts board game down and backs away. That's wise. Tom Posh says, he uses small card games like throwing stars. Tarantarola said, one day we will see Rodney make a perfect box flip by the means of a perfect table flip. He's been training. Ross did one. Rodney pirouette last Monday. I did. Don't let Rodney find out. In the Meeple Versus, I just tried twirling the box. And they are here now. But they gave me one final Twitch chat message. I will miss you all. I mean, it... They're nothing if not, if they're not kind. Solly Hall says, Tibbets is the highest scoring of my heart. They're all high scoring. All the cats are our friends. Dark. Thank you very much for the bits, Tom. Dark blue spots. We got them. They said we couldn't do it, but we did. Now we got to think about what we're going to try and achieve with the rest of the time. Do I go for another Tibbet? One, two. I could work towards another Tibbet, maybe. This, though, is this is a worry. Right here is a worry. I'm going to take this. I'm going to put this in the top corner. So currently we're still working towards getting a Gwen visit. We've got one, two, three, four, five. If we can get a dark blue or a light blue with that particular pattern on here, a different color to the colors that are already there and, and then that pattern there, we could get Gwen to visit. It ain't gonna be easy. Posture check. Oy. Thank you very much, UK Games Expo, for the posture check. I appreciate it. Dark blue spots, everyone. Thank the Lord. Dark blue spots. Hallelujah. I don't really want any of these ones, apart from dark blue spots, so I'm going to take that. That one gets binned off. That moves across. We're getting towards the end game now. Dark blue stripe. Dark blue stripe between the two blue ferns would get a button right here and allow maybe for a tibbit working towards a tibbit we've got two new tiles coming out what have we got oh dear lord it's not what i wanted it's a lot of ferns there it's not the kind of that's not not the shapes that we were looking for i'm gonna hold off on on um i'm gonna hold off on that for the time being because i know that i can place this and that's a good that's just a good placement for me that's a really good placement because that satisfies this particular uh, arrangement, which wants three of a colour, two of a colour, and one of a colour. Yes, we've done that. I'm going to zoom in so you can see closer what I mean. So we've got three of a colour, two of a colour, and one of a colour. That's one of the things it wants. We've done that, but we've also got three of a pattern, two of a pattern, and one of a pattern. So we'll be scoring the 11 points, the gold circle. Up here on this particular one, we want them all to be different. So all different colours, yes. That is one of the things. Or you can have all different patterns, which I've done. And because I've done both, that means I get 15 points for that as well. So that's really good. I'm happy about that because I, I started that right at the start. That was the first objective that I tried to achieve. And it's taken me all the way to nearly the end of the game to get what I needed to do it. Um, but, you know, we got there. The doubters said we couldn't do it, but we did it. All right. So now what? I've got to take one of these tiles and they're all rubbish. We still need something here, which is a different color. But if it's the same pattern as something that pre-exists, I could still satisfy both of the things that it requires. Two of the same color, two of the same color, and then two different colors, and two of the same pattern. And currently I've got three different patterns. So if I place that there, that would satisfy both the color and the pattern combo that I was looking for and get seven points, but it would break the opportunity to get Gwen to visit. So I don't want to do that, but I might have to. I might have to show the door to Gwen. Mac waves hand. These are not the tiles you're looking for. All right, this one gets discarded. This one moves to the right. Two new tiles come out. I'm actually going to kind of like rustle around in the bag for the first time in this game, hoping that's going to somehow magically give me the tiles I want. What do we got? We've got a blue dot. And we've got some other stuff that's bad. I forgot that I was trying to get Almond to visit. And I put blue stripes there, but I wanted Almond to visit. That was the whole point of three and a two, which I was working towards, and I've given up on it. Never give up on your dreams, people. I think what I'll do is I will 
place this here and it's three now at least three of the same color which gives me another button so place that button there i'm running out of time and space i'll keep this tile because that at least means i can satisfy one of the goals that i'm looking for there i out of the out of the combinations there i can't get a tibbet but if i chose a blue i could get another button so i'll take a blue a light blue so i can get another button that goes away that goes there Dream is going to dream. Doubt is going to doubt. Dream is going to dream. True that. True that. All right. Two new tiles. What have we got? Buttons. Ho oh. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. I was dreaming of that tile. Dreaming of that Moroccan shaped pattern tile. And it goes there. And it means, guess what? Gwen's going to come visit. Gwen's gonna come visit. I will place this tile here, get a blue button, a light blue button. I'm gonna take this tile, place it here. This one gets discarded, this one get moves along. Two new tiles come out. This is the end of the game. Two new tiles come out, and I'm gonna place this tile here. Boom. That's exactly what I wanted. Boom, completed the board in many ways but we've got one two three four five six seven of that moroccan style shape which means gwen comes to visit hey gwen lovely to see you joining us right at the end the quilt is finished and gwen was like that quilt's finished sure i'll come visit now you've sorted it so let's go ahead and get the scorecard out the best bit of the game scoring Oh, hey Slivers, lovely for you to join us. Been lurking whilst on work conference calls since you were doing interviews. All right. And the people says, I feel like it's gonna be a high scoring game. You did great. Well, we'll find out. Sometimes it feels better than it was. It, it felt like I achieved everything I wanted to. But was, was, was my strategy sound? Was my strategy sound? Gonna need to go back to Lurk as the PS5 event starts in 10 minutes. Hot damn. How many tiles remain in the bag? Loads. Loads of tiles. Look at all these tiles. Look at all those tiles. So many tiles. So many tiles. What will they also get that blue tile? Heroic. Heroic odds. Hey, Quicksand. Thanks for joining us. Welcome, welcome. You're just in time to watch me score Calico. What a treat. What a treat. I'm happy to talk about it though. If anyone's got any questions about Calico and you just caught the end of the stream, happy to explain it again. Um, let me get the scorepad out then. All right, so what have we got? Price, release date, and rumors of at least one unrevealed game that is supposedly huge. That's the PlayStation 5 release, by the way, folks. Sony are doing a stream. I've been watching for a bit and now I want this game. I want it. Yep. Yep. It's going to have that effect on you. It's a real nice game. Uh, let's do a zoom on the scoreboard. Basscake saying, feeling a little bit sick. Off for tonight. Have a good one. Ross. Bye, folks. See you, Basscake. I hope you feel better soon. I know you've not. Yeah, you've, you've had a tough run, so. Um, catch you again soon. I hope you feel, I hope you feel better. Thank you, Steel Morrigan, for the follow. Right. Let's put my name on it. Or put an R down, at least. Okay, so now we're doing, I believe, this is the objective tiles. So let's check our objective tiles. There's three that are randomly put on the board at the start of the game. So in this game, there's six different tiles like this. And the way the game setup works is you draw four, you choose three and put them on your board. Each player would do that if you're playing multiplayer and there's the same tiles for each player. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, score them. So this particular one here, it's got a doesn't equal symbol in the middle, which means if all of the tiles are a different color, you score 10 points. If all of the tiles are a different pattern, you score 10 points. However, if you manage to both get all different colors and all different patterns, you'll score 15 points, which is what I've managed here. All the six different colors of the game and all of the six different patterns in the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and there, I get 15 points for that one, which is well good. And this particular one wanted Two pair, two pairs of the same color, and one of 
two different colors and the same thing with patterns. And again, I've managed to do that twice. I've got two of the same pattern here, two of the same pattern here and two different patterns, but I've also got two of the same color here, two of the same color here and two different colors here. So I'll score seven points for that. This particular one wanted three of a kind, two of a kind and one. And again, you could do that in colors or patterns or both. And if you do it in both, you get more points. Um, so this, in this case, I've got three purple, two dark blue and a light blue. That's the, that's the color satisfied. I've got three stripes, two ferns and a dot, which is the pattern satisfied. So I'll get 11 points for that, which is a real nice score for that as well. Let's see what I've missed in the chat. If, if you knock cats all the pieces of your board into one toe bean paw swipe, you automatically win. Cats have just smashed this all over the place, but this is a this is a, a double layered board, so it actually clicks in quite nicely. It's kind of cat proof. Well, nothing's cat proof really, but and then what we're going to check is check our cats that visited. So let's have a little look at what the cats wanted to, again to see what would make them visit. Tibbet wanted four pieces connected that were either stripes or flowers, not combination of the two, just one or the other. So let's just double check to see if I'd done this right and if I only did have the ones visiting that I did. So we've got one, two, three, four stripes here. That is a Tibbet visit there. And then we've got one flower, two flower, three flower, four flower, and that's a Tibbet visit there. So that's that. That's all the Tibbets that I can see that are set, uh, you know, wanting to visit me. Then we've got Almond. Almond wanted two by three, either in dots or ferns, and I never managed to do that. I tried it, I tried starting it in a couple of places, but it never quite came off. Here was the closest where I've got a three and then a one, but not another one here. If I'd put another dot there, I would have managed that and got a tip, an almond to visit, but almond's the only cat that didn't visit my quilt. I'm sorry, almond, I didn't mean to leave you out. All right, all right, so that's all the cats that have come to visit. So now we score the cats. So we've got two tibbets, that's five, 10 points, and a Gwen, which is 11 points. So that's 21 points, 21 points for cat visits. Not again, even watched my rerun on UKGE. That's commitment. That is commitment. I appreciate it. I mean, I hope you found the chat interesting. I don't I don't know if it was, but I had a nice chat. Um, okay, and then buttons. Three points per button. Unfortunately, I don't have all the different colors of button, but let's just check to see if I've not missed any. Let's start at the top here. Three green, yes. Three blue, yes, that's two buttons there. At least three purple, that's another button. Some more blue there, that's another button, another button, another button. And then this is all too messy, no buttons here. So I have gone one, two, three, four, five, six buttons. Three points is 18 points. Add them all together, what am I getting? So I've got 22, 33, 54, 64, 72. 72 feels like a really good score as far as I'm concerned. I don't know. I don't know what anyone anyone else thinks, but 72 feels good. 72 feels like a strong score. I basically did everything I set out to achieve. All right. So in the back of the rule book, there's a bunch of achievements. So for this, you can get lots of different achievements for different things. This is for normal multiplayer. Uh, there's also achievements for rules restricted ver uh, ways to play. Uh, and there's also achievements for uh, doing different scenarios and doing different stuff. And there's all these little boxes in the back. You're 72nd in my heart, Ross. That means so much to me, Beth. So kind of you. <laughs> there's also these achievement scenarios in the back that you can try and do, but I um, I didn't pay any attention to them, so I didn't set it up. But you're meant to start from one and go onwards and get 58 plus points and get a rainbow um, button. And you would achieve this this thing. And if you play it multiplayer, lots of players can achieve this. But if you play it solo, you can achieve it. Um, so I didn't I didn't manage that. So I didn't do any of the achievements, but I did get seventy two points, which I think is a real good score. Uh, if you ah um, oh, it's 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 cut steep. Look at this, right? I know this isn't the game I played, but look at the example in the rule book. 73 points. The example in the rule book beat me by a point. What am I gonna do with that? The example in the rule book beat me by a point. Now it makes me feel like I didn't win. <laughs> Whoever APRI is, they got 73 points. I only got 72. Ugh. 
Apri, why? They got 29, 23, 21, and I got 33, 21, 18. I didn't get enough buttons. I let myself down with buttons. Flout Games say you'll always be a winner to us. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. 72 points was... That's certainly a loss then. That's it. That's it. I've lost. I think that... I, I felt like I did pretty well in that game. Um, you know, I tried really hard to get the Gwen to visit. Got Gwen to visit. I tried... I, I got both the objectives for both of these tiles here. But it does show you that it's not necessarily the most optimal way to play to focus all your energy on achieving both things of this because it only got me two extra points working so hard to do both the things there that only got me five extra points and that only got me four extra points so would i have been better off working to get wards getting more buttons which are three points in themselves while still achieving the goal to try and get the rainbow button so it, it shows you that there's multiple ways to try and play it um and just focusing solely on these tile points on your board maybe isn't the best strategy. And I've st I have I put all of my effort into achieving them, but at the detriment of achieving different things. Like, I, the reason I never got um, Almond to visit, because I was trying really hard to do both the achievements on that particular tile there, and I never got Almond to visit because of that. And that would have been nine points for Almond to visit, so... You know, what I like when I finish a game is when I look at the game and I think, okay, I could have played that differently and I could have aimed for different things and maybe that would have scored me better points. I felt satisfied at the end of that game because I achieved everything I wanted to. However, I question whether or not that was the best strategy to get the most points from this board during that game. But, you know, that's what I like about board games is a puzzle. Every time you play it, it's a puzzle. And I, I, um... Played a prototype of this uh, with Kevin at uh, Shooks, and I really liked it, and that's why I backed it on Kickstarter. And also, I really like Flat Out Games, the publisher, great group of, group of people who are producing just back-to-back -back hits at the minute. Fantastic games, you know. So if we talk about Point Salad as another game that's come from the Flat Out crew, Cascadia, which is on Kickstarter at the minute. Calico, just a, a really great collection of games that they've managed to, you know, as a collective produce. It's really nice to see. Um, I was lucky enough to meet them years ago when, you know, it was before any of these games were published and they were prototypes at that time. And it's really nice now to see the, you know, the, the fruit of that labor coming to bear and getting to actually see these games on people's tables, mine included. Point Salad's a really good game. Um, yeah, that is Calico. Thank you.